The Mathara IAST, Mathara dynasty ruled in the Kalinga region of eastern India during 4th and 5th centuries CE. Their territory included parts of the area between the present-day Ganjam district of Odisha and the Srikakulam district in Andhra Pradesh. They appear to have been overthrown by the Pitvakta dynasty. Topic: <laughs> Genealogy. The following members of the Mathara family are known IAST names in brackets: Shankara Varman, Sankaravaman, Shakti Varman, Saktavarman. Prabhanjana Varman, Prabhanjanavaman, Ananta Shakti Varman, Anantasaktavarman. The Mathara kings were devotees of Narayana, Vishnu. Topic: History. The Mathara dynasty ruled Kalinga from the mid-4th century to the end of the 5th century, probably after the forces of the Gupta emperor Samudragupta withdrew from the region. They fought with the Vasisthas and the Pitvaktas for the control of Kalinga. <laughs> Shaktivarman Shaktivarman appears the earliest ruler of the dynasty, and bore the title Kalingadapati, Lord of Kalinga. His father was Shankaravarman, who did not bear any royal title. A copper plate inscription of Shaktivarman, dated to his 13th regnal year, gives describes him as Maharajasya Sri Shaktivarmana. It was composed by his minister Amatya Arjunadatta. The inscription was issued at Pishtapura, which is identified with modern Pitapuram. It records the grant of Rakalava area modern Ragolu in Shrikakulam district to Brahmanas. The area is described as being located in the Kalinga Vishaya district. The inscription describes Shaktivarman as the son of Vasisthi. According to historian Snigda Tripathi, this suggests that his mother came from the Vasishtha dynasty. Such matronymics were also used by the earlier dynasties such as the Satavanas and the Ikshvakas. Pishtapura was originally under the control of the Vasishtha dynasty, and Shaktivarman probably inherited it from his mother. Some scholars believe that Pishtapura was the capital of the Matharas. However, none of Shaktivarman's descendants are known to have issued charters from Pishtapura. The inscription suggests that Shaktivarman's Kalinga kingdom extended up to the Godavari River in the south. The Simapura inscription of his son claims that Shaktivarman ruled the region between the Mahanadi and the Kasnavena Krishna River. This claim seems to be an exaggeration. During 5th and the 6th centuries, the area between the Godavari and the Krishna rivers was controlled by the Shalankayanas and then the Vishnakundinas. Also, there is no evidence that the Matahara rule extended up to the Mahanadi River in the north. The Mahanadi Mentioned in the inscription seems to be a different river in the present-day Ganjam district, it joins the Rushakulya River near Aska. <laughs> Prabhanjanavaman Prabhanjanavaman succeeded his father Shaktivarman. His only known inscription was issued from Simapura, which is identified with modern Singapuram in Srikakulam district. The inscription describes him as Sakala Kalingadapati, Lord of the whole of Kalinga. The inscription records the creation of Ningondi Agrahara Brahmana village. The village was located on the seashore, although its exact location is not certain. The inscription names Jayishtha as an officer of the king. <inaudible> Anantakshaktivarman Anantakshaktivarman succeeded his father Prabhanjanavaman. He bore the title Kalingadapati, 
Lord of Kalinga. An inscription of the king, dated to his 14th regnal year, has been found. It does not mention the its place of issue, but it was presumably issued from Simapura, which later came under the control of the Pitvaktas. The inscription records the grant of Andorepa village modern Andavaram in Srikakulam district to Brahmanas. It names Matvara as an officer de and Dandanayaka of the king. Another inscription of the king, now at the Madras Museum, was issued in his 28th regnal year. It names Arjunadatta as a royal officer de He seems to be same as the Dandanayaka mentioned in Shaktavarman's inscription. Arjunadatta's name also appears in the records of the Pitvaktas. Anantashaktavarman appears to have been overthrown by the Pitvakta king Umavarman. His officer Matvara later served as the Dasaksapataladakirta of Umavarman in Simapura. After Anantashaktavarman, Pishtapura seems to have come under the control of the Vasishtha dynasty. The Vasistha king Anantavarman issued an inscription from this city. Topic. Inscriptions The following copper plate inscriptions of the Mathara kings are known. All the records are in Sanskrit language, written in a southern variety of the Brahmi script. <laughs> 